Hi, uh, welcome to NVIDIA's uh, press conference. Here we are showing uh, NVIDIA Tegra K1, uh, the world's first 192 core super chip. Uh, what NVIDIA Tegra K1 is all about is uh, bringing Kepler class graphics to mobile. If you remember, Kepler GPU architecture powers uh, some of the fastest gaming GPUs like the GTX 780i and also the super, top 10 supercomputers in the world. And now that graphics architecture is coming to mobile. And if you remember a few months ago, we showed uh, this demo called Digital IRA on a development platform at SIGGRAPH and announced Project Logan. Now this demo is running on a form factor 7-inch device, 1080p screen with Tegra K1, and you can expect this level of graphics quality in upcoming uh, you know, Android games. Uh, what this demo is basically showing is all the cool things that you, you can do with the OpenGL 4.4 support. Things like tessellation, you know, compute shading, geometry shading, uh, you know, uh, global illumination, subsurface scattering. And if, to show what's going on here, let me zoom in on this iris ear. And you can see the light is coming in from the back. And the light is actually diffusing through iris ear. And that's called subsurface scattering. Now, if I turn off subsurface scattering, you know, it kind of looks very dull, dull and plain. The skin looks very dry. You know, it kind of takes the life away from iris. Now, if I turn it back on, and you can see it looks very photorealistic. Uh, another cool feature is if I turn off OpenGL 4.4 and turn on the features that are supported by chips today, like OpenGL ES 3.0, you can see this almost looks cartoon-like. You know, all the realism is gone, and you know this is a computer animation. And if I turn on OGL 4.4, it looks almost realistic. And that's the power of uh, you know Kepler GPU. And this is what kind of graphics that you're going to see in mobile devices uh, powered by Tegra K1. So as you may have heard, Tegra K1 comes in two versions. There's a 32-bit version that contains a quad-core Cortex-A15 CPU and a fifth battery saver core. And there's a 64-bit version that has a dual uh, you know, core Denver CPU. And the Denver CPUs are own custom CPUs. CPU uh, that has been developed by us. It uses ARM V8 architecture and it delivers so much more performance, single threaded and multi threaded performance. I'm very excited about it and it's going to power a whole range of devices and it's going to bring desktop class you know, application performance to mobile devices. Uh, this demo, obviously, this tablet is uh, running the 32, version, 32 bit version of Tegra K1. Here we are showing what is possible with tessellation. Tessellation is a feature by which you add a lot of detail to a graphics image without consuming a lot of you know computational power and thus saving you know battery life and things like that. For example, let me pause this video and zoom in on this area. Now here tessellation is enabled and you'll see that the ground is like looks very real. There's a lot of bumps, a lot of detail to it. Now if I turn off tessellation, it kind of looks very flat and doesn't look very uh, you know, realistic. Now let me show you the wireframe model for this. And here you can see, with tessellation turned off, the triangles are pretty huge. And the reason the triangles are huge is, in current processors, if they were to draw tons of triangles, it'll consume a lot of power, and it consumes a lot of you know, CPU performance, and you won't get smooth gameplay. Now if I turn on tessellation, and you'll see that there are like thousands and thousands of triangles here that's giving you a lot of detail to the scene. And that's what Tegra K1 delivers. A lot of detail, high performance, you know, and exceptional battery life. Uh, what we're showing here is a demo that's using the Unreal Engine uh, game engine. And it's, uh, it's a living room scene that uses a lot of advanced uh, uh, features uh, of Tegra K1. And you can see this, uh, you know, global illumination here, uh, high texture detail, high geometry detail, a lot of subsurface scattering. Uh, let me try to... Uh, and you can see how all the light uh, bounces off the walls. Uh, the texture on the wall is very detailed. The reflection is, there's a reflection on the glass. It reflects back on the ground and it goes back. So all these uh, cool features are possible because of uh, Tegra K1 support of uh, OpenGL 4.4. And the fact that, you know, Epic was able to uh, run Unreal Engine on Tegra K1 uh, very easily because of its support of you know advanced uh, PC class uh, graphics features. Uh, some of the other features of Tegra K1 obviously outside of graphics is it's a, you know there are two versions of Tegra K1. There's a quad core Cortex A15 32-bit version and there's a you know dual core 64-bit version. 
uh, Tegra K1 also supports a 4K video decode and it can also simultaneously drive a 4K you know, external uh, panel and a local uh, panel. So you can expect 4K tablets powered by Tegra K1. Uh, it supports a 4K video decode at 30 frames per second, uh, high profile uh, videos. Uh, it also supports, uh, you know, VP8, VC1 and all the other popular uh, video formats.